Hi, this is TJ Muleman, founder and CEO of Standard Co. with a new edition of our MetaBase series where we talk about MetaBase features, how to do certain things. And in today's uh, edition, we're going to actually talk about MetaBase 46, uh, the release that came out in April. I think it's early April 2023. Um, and as a longtime MetaBase user and somebody who makes a lot of MetaBase content uh, and use MetaBase all around the world, uh, this is a really great release. There's a lot of cool things in here. Uh, and one uh, potentially controversial thing, uh, actions. Uh, I'm actually not going to demo that because we actually don't implement actions, but it's this concept that um, from within MetaBase, you'll actually be able to write data back to your database, uh, which is very unique. Uh, you don't see that with Tableau, Power BI, uh, or other uh business intelligence tools. So this will allow you to actually, maybe let's say you have a customer's uh, data set and you're looking at customer data. Um, and if you wanted to create a new customer, you'd go into your data system of choice, your database, and you'd actually create it there. Um, now you can do that from within Metabase. And so uh, it'll be really curious to see how this feature evolves. Uh, it, it feels it's a little bit new and I would consider it a beta feature. Uh, and I would implement it with care uh, because you know when you're creating new values or new records, uh, you typically have some uh, business logic that sits in front of that to make sure that you're inserting it in the right place, that you're capturing all the right values, all that sort of thing. Uh, so uh, keep that in mind when it comes to uh, this new feature. So next, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the data visualization features uh, and other things that come in the new metabase. Okay, let's talk about detail view. Uh, I love this one because this is something I've wanted a, a many a time and never had, uh, it was never freely available or easy to get to. But this is the idea that uh, you wanna look at an individual record and look at a detail uh, prettified view of that record. Uh, previously, you could only do that on the primary key end of the field, and you couldn't really link to it. It was kind of difficult. But now you can pick any field uh, that you can uh, that's unique. Um, so in this case, it's a field called GTID, uh, and look at all the values for that record in kind of a pretty view. Uh, again, it allows you to kind of easily dive into a specific record and kind of see uh, more information. Uh, to get to that, you'll go in your visualizations, you'll see detail, and you'll uh, you you'll obviously need one record uh, that you're looking at. Uh, maybe you'll have a search bar to pick, pick a GTID or pick an individual record, and then it'll take you here. Um, you can also do this uh, for if you've got a single row with a lot of columns, it will kind of rotate it 90 degrees to kind of make it nice and vertical, uh, as opposed to what maybe a spreadsheet might look like. So this is a really nice little feature. Um, while we're here, you'll also notice that we've got, um, they redesigned the UI on the visualization uh, charts. So you'll notice what it's doing is it's uh, sort of suggesting these top three. These this, this is similar to what they used to do where they would gray out certain visualizations. Uh, now, I based on what I can see, they're letting you pick any visualization, but they're sort of floating the ones that you should use at the top and other ones that you might want to use down here at the bottom. Uh, again, this detail view is a really nice new feature. And I'm really excited about it. Okay, there's two uh, new dashboard features I'm going to show here. Uh, up here at the top, you have um, what they call link cards. Uh, and this is really nice in that it allows you to create a new card on your dashboard that links either to an external site. So I'm linking to our website here, standardco.de, standard code. Uh, or I can link to a dashboard, which is really nice uh, because what we do a lot is we, we have dashboards that sort of talk to each other or kind of link between each other. Sometimes we do that from within an individual card, right? So we might be able to say, click on this particular bar and it would take you to uh, another dashboard. Or maybe we just want to drive people to uh, this district demographics dashboard. Um, so that's what that, that nice feature does. I go back over here. Um, and then again, this is just an external link to an external site. I don't believe at this point there's any way to add markup to this to like control the way it looks and the way it interacts. It's just simply a link. Um, so this is a good uh, maybe card you want to add at the footer, uh, maybe to think of it as similar to a copyright footer or something along those lines. My, my next feature uh, that I'm going to talk about is the ability to filter. So let me back out of this. And this is a this is something that's been in here all along, right? The ability to filter. So I can pick a 
a school. Um, this is a school dashboard for a um, standard education product that we have. And I can pick a school and it will filter based on uh, the school I pick, right? Nothing new here. This has already been here. But something that's been kind of a pet peeve of mine is that these filters are driven by values in the database, uh, which is, I'd say 90% of the time works great. But there's times when you want to define your drop down list yourself, you want to create a custom list. Um, and so for example, here, I'm listing every single school in this school district, but I really only want to show high schools. So I can go in here now, and I can click edit the dashboard. I can click add a filter. Or actually, in this case, I'll just click uh, this particular one. And then I can go over here and you'll see it's a drop down list. And there's this new option where I can say edit. Okay, and I can pick, I can just do a custom list. And I can remove which ones I don't want. So this is all the values in the system. So I'm just going to remove, I'm just going to remove all but these two real quick. Okay. Now, my list, instead of being every school in the district, and I might want to rename this because maybe we call this, maybe it's, uh, maybe it should be two words, okay? So now done, save, and voila, I now only have two options instead of 26. So the ability to customize your drop-down filters, like for me, is a oh, oh moment. Uh, it just gives me more control over the user experience. It allows me to more easily uh, tailor the way um, uh, people interact with the data. Uh, so this is a really nice new feature. A couple more features that I'm not going to demo. You can always just go to Metabase, uh, the releases section, and look at release 46. But um, you have the ability to preview models, get a little bit more information about models, what models are being used. They've done some significant upgrades to models to make them more stable and more useful. So that's cool. Um, the feature that I'm <laughs> really excited about is we write a lot of SQL queries because we're doing complicated uh, data um, joins and whatnot. And previously, if you're SQL query failed, it wouldn't show you the SQL query it constructed, you know, if you're using filters and um, variables. So you'd kind of have to do a lot of guessing as to what was actually being executed. Now you can preview the SQL that Metabase sends to the database, which is huge, uh, a really nice um, uh, feature upgrade. And then you now have the ability to, there's a new custom expression now, which is the current date time, and uh, other features that are included in this release. Uh, big thank you to the Metabase team. Excited to get to, uh, get this deployed to all of our customers uh, on our on-premise and cloud versions. If you're interested in Metabase and want to talk more about it, please feel free to reach out to me, tj at standardco.de, uh, or just go to our website, standardco.de, and uh, chat with me, and I'll happily answer any questions you have. Thanks a lot.